For me as a scientist, I think the most exciting prospect of any telescope like this, any big, bold, ambitious telescope that we put into space, is this idea that there are questions we haven't even thought to ask yet, that we'll learn things about the universe that completely surprise us. I'm Amber Strawn, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. I'm on the NASA science team for JWST. My path to becoming an astronomer was maybe a little bit different than most. I grew up in the rural uh, southern part of the United States. Uh, I was the first person in my family to go to college. And um, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't really know any scientists, but I grew up under very dark skies and those dark skies are what got me interested in astronomy as a young kid. In these deepest images with Hubble, uh, we've been able to see back really, really far. We've been able to see some very distant galaxies, but what we haven't been able to see is the very first generation of galaxies that were born after the Big Bang. In order to do that, we need infrared light. We need a huge infrared telescope in space. And this is exactly what JWST is. In fact, JWST was designed with this idea in mind to find the very first galaxies. Once we get the telescope to space, it has this intricate system of unfolding that it has to go through. That takes a couple weeks. Then it takes several more months for the telescope to get cold, to uh, line up the mirrors, and then to turn the instruments on one at a time. So it'll be next summer, summer 2022, before we get the first images. We of course can't promise that we're going to find signs of life, but it's not an overstatement to say that this telescope is definitely our next huge step in our search for habitable planets in the Milky Way. There is so much riding on this telescope. It's the future of astrophysics and we have to get it right.